Hi, this is a little tutorial on how to create a donut chart. You might have be created pie charts in the past, but I'll show you some quick down and dirty tricks for uh, donut charts. Here we have some information, five different flavored coffees and sales volumes in 2014. Well, if you were to create a, a pie chart, you would want percentages, so the same way in a donut chart. So what you do is highlight your information, click once on Insert, and you, of course, might have seen the Charts tab with all the different charts, but maybe you haven't explored other charts. So under Other Charts, click on Donut. It quickly creates a very simple donut chart with all the slices there and the labels adjusted on the, le on the legend. Well, let's embellish this a bit, and when you do, there's lots of different ways to do it. The chart tools displays three tabs, and let's start with the uh, layout tab. Well, one of the first things I want to do is put in uh, data labels. Now in this, uh, we can choose more data labels options. And what I like about this on the first uh, the first feature is label options and it puts value. Well, I don't want value. I want the category name. That's hazelnut, French vanilla, etc. And also percentage. When we do that, we can next click on number and display it in percentage. In two decimal places, we can actually change that to one decimal place and click on close. And look how nice it is. We're very clear and um, efficient mocha, hazelnut, and French vanilla. In essence, you don't need a legend if you already embed the uh, labels right on the donut chart itself. So you can click once on your legend and press delete and you still get your same data. Uh, one of the things I like to do right away is just to give it a little more offset is to uh, turn the font into a white color. So that's from the home menu and you've probably seen the font of course. You click once on the white and there is that. Well, that's the quick down and dirty, as I say, flavored charts. We may flavored coffees. We might want to even write down flavored coffee sales. But I don't want to only do 2014. In a pie chart and donut chart, you don't have to use bar graphs. You can still keep um, pie charts and this uh, donut chart. So let's try doing uh, something even beyond the, the one year. So let's say we'll have sales for 2015 and we'll give it some um, values here. Let's say 159, whoops, um, sales uh, 1590 for uh, hazelnut and say 739. Oh, I'm making up these numbers, 692, 455, and 630. It would be interesting to compare the sales in 2014 with the sales in 2015. I'm just bolding that. So the way to do it, again, uh, the quick way to do it, you click on your chart and I've actually highlighted, this is the series it is highlighted. Well, we want to modify it and capture 2015 too, also. So we go to Layout in Chart Tools and, uh, sorry, Design in Chart Tools and select Data. And here's where we can highlight the whole item, but let's do it manually so you can actually see it. So in this dialog box, we've highlighted the data range, but we can do a nice, easy way to do it. We're going to add, and we fill out these two uh, pieces of information. So the series name is this cell. This is sales for 2015. And we click on this little box to, to open up this menu. The series values goes all the way down here. So in essence, we've now captured the rest of this information. And you can see now you have two series here, two series, and click on OK. And now you have 
two rings. The inner ring is 2014. The outer ring is 2015. Well, let's clean this up a little bit more. The, let's do the outer ring. What it put down is the values, and we don't want that. We want the percents. So that's done the same way. You go up to the word layout and data labels and down to more data label options. And we don't want value, and we really don't need category, because we know the same colors are going to exist. I'll show you. Uh, we do want percentage, and I think we did uh, turn it to one decimal. And I'll show you why we don't need to repeat uh, the, the categories, the names of the flavors of the um, coffees. I want to turn that white. That's easy. Go to Home and turn it white. And it's a little clut cluttered, but watch what happens here. If I'm going to make this bigger and make this bigger, you now have these nice rings around. And pumpkin, we can actually move this a little bit over. And Kahlua, you don't need to do it twice. And here's hazelnut. You can move these a little bit. And this is pretty similar, so you know what colors are wet. But now, let's identify the outer ring and the inner ring. Well, in a donut chart, you really can't uh, have those labels on the outside. So there's actually a nice workaround. To do that, you go to Insert Shapes. And on the bottom, there's a thing called Callouts. And I'll pick one of them, the callouts. And we're going to do that inner one first, the inner one. And up pops a box. Yes, we'll make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to put some a text box inside and label that 2014. Of course, we could make this smaller and adjusted it's, and, and centered. We can go to the home icon in the center. And this little uh, yellow box is expandable. So we're going to identify that as the outer ring is 2014. Likewise, we're going to create an outside box for um, its insert shapes. And we bring in a call out. And maybe this outer ring will be 2015. Again, these can be uh, moved around. And we'll, we'll insert a text box and type in 2015. And make this the same size. And you can adjust it that way. And we'll center that as well. Go to Home and then Center. And there we go. So what we've actually done now, a nice, creative, clean way to create a pie chart that's very efficient. And you can actually see that Mocha increased in 2015, Pumpkin increased, Kahlua decreased a bit, and French Vanilla decreased, and Hazelnut mostly stayed the same. And that's how you create a donut chart.